<lacht> Servus Freunde, mein Name ist Jimmy Cage. And I'm Dennis, the Buddy Meister. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Favorite Song Reactions, the segment where either I show some of my favorite songs to Dennis, the Buddy Meister, or we watch some of your favorite songs that you can pick if you are a member of the channel or a patron on patreon.com slash the Jimmy Cage. Today I show you one of my favorite songs. From the movie Om Shanti Om, which is a Hindi language masala film from 2007, written and directed by Farah Khan, starring Shah Rukh Khan and, and Deepika Padukone. Deepika Padukone. I think it was her first film. First N film or first hi hi first film? No, she she is from. I she, think she's, she's a, yeah. mainly Hindi. Yeah, she? yeah. Okay, but I think it was first a debut. Film. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so this movie is a big Bollywood parody slash mm -hmm. homage, or homage, sorry. And uh, Shah Rukh Khan plays an aspiring actor named Om in the 70s, who is murdered, but then reincarnated. And in the present day, that same Om is a big star who slowly realizes what happened to him in the past. I already showed you, I think, three songs. The almost 10 minute long Divangi Divangi which was with all the special appearances. Then I showed you Dastan, E Om Shanti Om, the musical-like mm -hmm. summary of the entire song. And then the last song I showed you was Da the Disco. Da the Disco. Exactly. Da the Disco. So the music was composed by the duo Vishal Sheka, but the song I show you today is actually not by Vishal Sheka. The music to that one was composed by Pia Relal, Pia Pia Relal of the Lakshmikan Pia ah, Relal. Lakshmikan Pia Relal, yeah. Yeah. They did. Oh, I haven't. I, have no I don't idea. want to say anything. But I think they did Vikram Veda, but I don't. Really? I'm not. But maybe. Vikram Veda from what year is that movie? Ah. Because I think in, two, in 2007, I think Lakshmikant was already dead. Okay, now I'm totally. Yeah. That's the reason why this Man, is only. Can we cut that out? By, no, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> this song. Yeah. And we will, we will yeah. look it up. I'm stupid. Okay. The song, the title is Doom Tana, mm -hmm. Doom Tana, written by Javed Akta. He did the lyrics to all of the songs, mm -hmm. sung by Abhijit Bhattacharya and Shreya Goshal. Shreya Goshal. Mm -hmm. And this one is a big tribute to the music of the 70s and 80s. Okay. It was recorded with a 150-member orchestra and traditional instruments like drums, Table, Dolak, and Duffley. I have no idea about most of them, but. I think it's ta Tabla. Tab prob probably, yeah. not yeah. Table. But yeah, it's not Table. <laughs> it's not Table, okay. I think it's Tabla, but probably I Probably Tabla. Don't know. Yeah. And in this sequence, uh, so I think this is the first song of the movie. We are still in the 70s. Mm -hmm. So the aspiring actor Ohm is still alive. Mm -hmm. And he is in the cinema. And about to watch a new movie starring Deepika Padukone, who is like a, becoming a superstar in Bollywood of the 70s. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the filmmakers wanted, so the, the filmmakers who did Om Shanti Om, wanted to put Deepika Padukone's character next to real stars of the 70s. Oh, okay. So that's why you will see some um, pretty striking effects, but mm -hmm. pretty cool. Okay. At, at the same time and I have some information about the entire sequence here but I think we will just watch this and then we will go through my little notes okay so this is another thing where like the one one the other star pops up and yeah not that many okay. actually just two or three okay but I have some some cool trivia here okay well, not I really see. trivia but some information see, about so the whole sequence yeah I'm, so, I'm, I'm I'm yeah very excited because of the instruments and yeah. stuff that you and also yeah. The movie has pretty cool songs. And that. And that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I can already tell you that's one of my favorite dance moves. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good man. 
Nice. Yeah. Great song. Yeah. Really great song. It's like, uh, uh, I don't know. I just, in the middle of it, I thought this is like the, the perfect writing of a song. Not Maybe not the, the, the lyrics, mm -hmm. but like the, the way everything is structured and the arrangement. It's like uh, perfect. Yeah. Um, it's really great. And it has these different 
different moments that each one of them is great. Like mm. this, this dum dana stuff, and then the the lyrics before that that um, are more like a chorus. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, how how I, I love the voice of the singer of Shah Rukh Khan's uh, Shah Rukh Khan's singer. Yeah, I think I think we've heard him. I think we've probably heard him before. Abhijit Bhattacharya. Bhattacharya. I don't know if he's the one, but he has one of those voices where I thought it's like the perfect fit for Shah Rukh Khan. Yeah. It's like it could be himself. Yeah, yeah. it is one of those voices uh, yeah. that fits him perfectly, and. Yeah, it's a really, really nice song, very catchy, and yeah, it's one of those songs where I probably could listen to more often. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. yeah, yeah, because it's not it's not obtrusive. It not like it punches you in the face. It's just like it's very smooth, and you can mm -hmm. listen to it in the background, or mm -hmm. you can listen to it like with full conscience. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's, it's nice. And I just love that this is like a celebration of the seventies yeah. mm -hmm. Hindi cinema. And yeah, I have some information mm -hmm. from the Please. site falling in love with Bollywood dot uh, yeah falling in love with Bollywood dot com, mm -hmm. and we just saw the song that has different segments, and there are like five segments. First is this historical epic, the first segment, which shows Deepika Padukone with Sunil Dutt mm -hmm. oh, from okay. the nineteen sixty six movie. Amrapali. Mm -hmm. So they took his his uh, image and superimposed mm -hmm. it into mm -hmm. into this movie. I think the first time I saw that in an Indian movie was probably Yamadonga, where oh, yeah. we also saw. I think the uh, Yamadonga oh. stars yeah, yeah. Atiyah Junior, yeah, yeah. and I think <clears throat> in one scene in one dance it, we with get his, with his father, with his father yeah, yeah. or grandfather. Yeah. One of, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, not sure. Mm -hmm. But I think now I have seen this in like at least five mm. Indian movies. And yeah. Uh, yeah, somehow I accept it more in Indian movies. This like took someone from the past mm -hmm. and just put him in here yeah. because maybe because it's so obvious and it's just the original elements and they are put into and they rearrange it. It's something different than when, for example, like Rogue, Star Wars Rogue One is yeah. doing talking and I'm like, oh my God, what are they doing here? Mm -hmm. So I don't know. But uh, oftentimes when we, when, or the, the times we have seen it in movies, it always has this component of um, bringing the, the, uh, something of the, the glory days mm. into this picture and not like it's, it not comes from a characters from, uh, from, from the characters, like in Star Wars, where we try to tell something about the generations, but here it is always like this, we think about the old times yeah. and about memories it's, of cinema. It's not like a homage. This, yeah, it's it like always a, has this this historical aspect yeah. of bringing the, the history of cinema into it. Yeah, So true. maybe that's also like why we li uh, like it more. I think it's better fitting here. Yeah. yeah. So the second segment is this dance party. Yeah, that's with the... Uh, I, um, Kana. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's uh, Rajesh Kana. Rajesh Kana, yeah. From the 1970 film Sacha or Saka, but I, mm -hmm. but I think Sacha Juta. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then we get this badminton game. Mm -hmm. And in that scene, we don't have any, yeah. any actor. But this segment was a recreation of a very famous sequence from the 1970 film, Humjole, in which there's a badminton game between... Jiten, Jitendra mm -hmm. and Lina Chandavarka. Okay. And now for some interesting trivia. Mm -hmm. Before Deepika Padukone turned to acting, she was training to become a professional badminton player because her father was actually a badminton player of international fame. Okay. The first Indian to win the All England Championship. So that's Ooh, nice. pretty cool. <laughs> good tip. Some good trivia. Yeah, Jimmy. and again, I have to <laughs> thank the site falling in love with Bollywood.com. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not, uh, yeah, didn't do that much research. <laughs> it was all on that well. site. So the fourth segment is Dancing for the King. This segment features Jitendra from the 1977 Jitendra. film J.V.J. Mm-hmm. And then the last one, the princess and the pirate. Um, the costumes or the costume of Deepika Padukone is reminiscent of what Mumtaz wore in the 1970 movie Sacha Juta. Yeah, we already got that movie with the dance party. Mm -hmm. And Shah Rukh Khan's costume apparently is very reminiscent. I mean, I looked it up and it looks very similar. Is uh, might be influenced by the 19. 
48 Hollywood film, The Pirate, starring Gene Kelly. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just some nice. information for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really nice, really <laughs> nice. Yeah. And it, it shows like how much how much they put into this, this movie song, yeah. in general, yeah. of course, but into the song with all the little details. I love this. I love this meta stuff. It just, just, yeah. 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 I mean, the whole movie Om Shanti Om is all about yeah, of course, yeah. doing an homage or parody. I, I say it every time. Yeah. I have, I had some problems with the movie. The pacing was a little bit slow. It was a little bit all over the place. But every time I show you a song from the movie, I think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> because all these songs are so amazing. And the movie yeah. is a lot of fun. Yeah. But somehow it kind of dragged when I watched it. So okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, Shadow Khan is like this very... In, in this song, yeah. from all the songs that we've seen, he's the most lo lovely do dork. Dork, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like yeah. always... C c crashing the party like yeah. him coming in uh, into the song and but uh, with big eyes and so it's uh, he's he's very lovable yeah, yeah. absolutely <laughs> so anything else not no. from me not from me either good i just love this song and this dance move this like yeah, yeah we, we don't, don't have, have the space, space yeah. Here, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah love it <laughs> maybe right. we maybe we when we hit one million subscribers okay you know, people always do like these dances when they do hit one million mm -hmm. subscribers. So this is the, the this song is the, that we like. This is the choreography. imitate the choreography okay. we do when. So yeah, maybe in, in we still have some time to we, have, we still have some time to practice. <laughs> All right, perfect. <laughs> you can hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Letterbox, and also Patreon. Simply at the Jimmy Cage. And you can hit me up on Twitter, simply at the Buddy Meister. And if you enjoyed this reaction, please give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like. It's very hot in here. Yeah. And, and make sure you hit that bell for all we have to tell. <laughs>